So today we're gonna get up close, personal, and completely like bare skin with you. So I've been wanting to post more videos this week of makeup, but my face um, needs a break. Not just because of the makeup, but um, it's my time of the month, here it was, and my face just went hor went horrible. Usually my skin's not too bad, and then when it comes to that week, um, it just went crazy. So like I have this giant thing on the side of my face, I have one here, one here. I have a few spots here still, um, and I've been picking at my face, which is bad. Don't pick at your face. So today I was like, oh, let's just do like a skincare thing where we talk about some skincare products that I absolutely love. So yeah, um, before we get started, just make sure you subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and like this video. Obviously, thumbs up, that's what it means, but um, yeah. If you like it, uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you have any recommendations for my skin. My skin is oily in large pores. Um, do I get up close and personal and show you guys? But yeah, make sure you do that and we can just get started right away. So yeah, this is my skin right now. It is um, very, very crazy. It's broken out. Uh, my pores are horrible and I just picked at it, which is really bad. Don't be doing that, um, but I can't help it. It drives me nuts. It's so bad. So I'll see if I can get closer for you guys. Whew. Don't like this. So you can see my pores are very visible. Um, that thing right there. These will all go away sooner or later, hopefully. But yeah, you can see my pores right here and all up here. I've always had pretty bad pores. Um, I've always struggled with that. Okay, so let's get started. So first what I want to talk about is face wash type things. Um, my favorite face wash that I've ever used so far is, oh I forgot my glove, but I have an exfoliating glove. Okay, so what I use with my face wash, and I'll use this like every other day um, until my face gets used to it, and then I'll use it every single day. So having oily skin or dry skin, you really want to make sure you exfoliate your face. And I find exfoliators for my face really don't do anything. Um, I really need this exfoliating mitt. So it's like a bath mitt. It looks just like a mitt that covers your whole entire hand, almost like a tanning mitt. Um, and you can find that in like the luxury bath area of like Walmart and stuff like that where they have like the bath bombs and the loofahs. And it's only like a couple bucks. And I get that and I use that to wash my face with my face wash. So my favorite face wash ever is called the Pore Refining Face Scrub by Neutrogena. I'm out of it. So this is probably one of the reasons. But I also decided to go back to one that I've always liked. And I've been using, um, it's a clean and clear, clean and clear morning burst skin brightening facial, facial scrub. I really like this. It's nice, but I feel like it doesn't do as much as I need to. I'm almost out, so I will be getting my usual one that I like, which I said is a pore refining, um, facial scrub. Then one that I also like, when my skin is feeling a little dry, I like to use this one. This is H2O Plus Beauty. Oh boy, come on. H2O Plus Beauty, and it's called Elements Keep It Fresh Face Cleanser. It's for normal to dry skin. So it helps with hydration, and I really like using this um, when my face is feeling a little dry. So my face is never really dry unless it's winter time and it goes through like some dry patches, which I can't stand because my face is still heavily oily, but yet I have these little dry patches. So I like to exfoliate, and then the next day I will use like this cleanser right here and I really like this one this one's just a gel cleanser um it's clear it smells very fresh and clean I think it's fragrance free but yeah I like this one this one obviously has a fragrance to it the morning burst one and it has the bead so you can use it if your skin's very sensitive I would try that exfoliating mitt but I would make sure that you just do a small area and see how your skin goes and you don't really have to use a lot of pressure when you use that mitt on your face um and I like to still use the mitt and the exfoliating scrub stuff too. That works best for my skin, but you need to try it if your skin maybe only exfoliate like once a week. But yeah, that's more. I think those are the two cleansers that I really like, excluding the one that I don't have and I can't show you. Um, so after I cleanse, I like to use a toner, obviously. Um, my favorite toner ever is this one by Neutrogena. It's a pore refining toner. And um, this one is my favorite ever. This is the same line of my favorite 
face wash, face scrub that I have. This one I will take a cotton ball and I will um, just put it all over my face. I'll be careful around your eyes because it is, um, it will like kind of burn your eyes. Not the fumes or because it has a high alcohol content will kind of burn your eyes and kind of do that. But I will use this to tone my face like 20 minutes before I put on makeup. So if I'm just going to bed at night, I'll just put this on. Um, if I know, if I get up in the morning, I will wash my face. And if I'm not going to be putting makeup on for like an hour or so, I'll wait like 30 minutes, 20 minutes before I start my face makeup. And I will clean my skin with this to get all the extra oils off. So my skin is a very clean base to work with um, before I put makeup on. So this one's really good. Um, it's I think it's like between $9 and $11 for this toner along with the face wash. But you can get some coupons too. Another toner that I really like to use if my face is feeling dry also, um, so my, like I said in the winter time I go back and forth, this is by Proactive, it's a revitalizing toner number two, I really like this stuff, um, same thing I take a cotton ball or a cotton pad and I'll put this all over my face and just rub it in, um, this one doesn't really have a scent, everyone knows who Proactive is pretty much, this one smells like just medicine and this helps with keeping my skin very um, moisturized also. So that's why I really like this one. I really love the little squeezy top that is on it. I don't know why, but I really like it. And then for moisturizers, I really only found one that I really like um, for like drugstore type things. This is called, this is by L'Oreal Paris and it's a Hydrogenous Oily Skin um, Moisturizer. It's like a gel, daily moisturizer. It's this right here. Yeah very very heavy you could hurt your hurt somebody with this but yeah this one's really nice i like this one because it gives me the moisture but doesn't leave any greasy feel to it and i put so much on it and i let this before i put any makeup on i let this soak in completely also um so yeah this one's really nice it is a gel you can see it in there so this one is one that i really really recommend for oily skin gives you just enough hydration without adding any more greasiness or sleekness to it. And I will use this when my face is super dry or when it's super oily, like you need that moisture. So for um, serums, the only one that I have found that works great for my, um, sorry, I'm unwrapping it because I broke it. But the only one that I found that works really, really great and helps with my pores, like within two days, I see notice in my pores going down and just Everything in general looking so much better. This one is Remarkable Retinol Serum. It's anti-aging. It's by My Michelle. And I got this at Kohl's as a little um, like sampler thing. It came with a whole bunch of other things. The only thing I really liked was this one. But this is a whole bunch, this is like the strongest non-prescription vitamin A that you can get. And it looks like this. But I broke the top and I can't squeeze it out of there so I had to cut it and now it's all wrapped up. But yeah, so this, um, you can get like a sampler set that comes with a face scrub, another serum, and then this serum right here. The other one is a vitamin B serum which I really like also. So it's like 9 bucks, and it lasts me a really long time. So instead of spending like 60 bucks on the big thing, I always just get the little things really quick. It's $9 and I have that. It comes with a face scrub which is okay but it's not. Um, if you have regular skin, it would be great, but I have really oily skin, so I need something a little bit more. Um, for face mask, I know I'm moving fast, but I don't want you guys to like sit here and have to listen forever. So for face mask, um, I like to wash my face, and then before I moisturize or tone or anything, I'll dry my face and I'll go in with the face mask if it's a face mask night kind of time. I always put face mask on also that I know won't break out my skin or how my skin reacts if I have like a next day event where I know I'm going to like a party or some type of holiday event or work event. Um, so this one is really inexpensive too. And I like that it kind of exfoliates. It leaves your skin feeling very like subtle or supple and like just crisp. It feels really good. But this is a cucumber peel off mask. It's for normal to combo skin and it says it clarifies and renews. Let's see what else it says. Super cooling. But it's a clear one. It's this one. You guys probably all seen the brand. You can get it at like any um, drugstore. But it's clear. I love the smell of it. And you just put it on and I put so much on and I let it dry. And then you peel it off and your face feels really good. And that's when I'll go in with toning and moisturizing. But then after that mask, if I have like a full on night the next day, I go in with my favorite mask 
ever. Like the mo oh my gosh, I love this mask. This mask makes my face look perfect. It makes it look radiant. It feels amazing. It afterwards it feels amazing on. Um, I want to put this mask on every single night. This is Avita Tourmaline Charge Radiance Mask. I have talked about this so many times. I keep on getting a little trial size because like I said, it's cheaper. Maybe one day I'll have enough money to just buy the big size products. But um, so this one, you just apply a thick layer and then you let it sit on for 78 minutes and you rinse it off. And I also, I really, oh my gosh, it's just so, it's just so good. I can't explain to you guys the, what it makes my skin look like. It makes it look so, like I said, radiant and just perfect. I put it underneath my eyes. I put it all the way up here. This, the only thing that is not covered is like my lids and like barely underneath here. Um, it's amazing. It's white. It's almost out. But I've talked about this before in some other videos if you guys watched me on Facebook. But yeah, it's, can I get it to come out? Oh, I can't get it. I don't want to squirt everywhere. But it's a white creamy product and it's almost like this warming but cooling sensation. I love it. So yeah. Um, that is all my face stuff. So like I said, if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to ask me and leave comments below or message me or whatever. Um, as you can see, I will be getting my hair done soon, but I don't know what I want to do with it. So I'm just letting the roots look horrible. And thankfully at work, I have to wear a hat. So I don't have to worry about my roots showing too bad. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope that I have an actual makeup video up tomorrow night that is my goal and it's going to be browns and smoky and some glitter browns and it's going to be gorgeous for fall and i can't wait to show you guys so yeah um thank you for watching and i hope you guys have a good day a good night good weekend happy holidays bye guys